good evening or good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is, uh, wherever you are. And I, this is, uh, I'm just going to go over my uh, monthly expenses here in Cebu for the last uh, 30 days. And uh, yeah, so this will give you a, a pretty good idea of the cost. Um, Okay, so the uh, the first item on the list would be uh, my rent, and uh, it's three hundred and twenty U.S. dollars. It's about sixteen hundred Philippine pesos, and uh, right now uh, the pesos uh, it's about fifty-five to one U.S. dollar. Uh, yeah, so to me that's a it's a good price. Uh, the complex that I'm at is really nice. There's private security uh, at the entrance coming in. There's security guards uh, throughout the complex, and uh, it's very peaceful, very quiet. You can walk to the restaurants down the street. Um, there's a coffee shop here in the complex. Uh, there's a weight room, really nice swimming pool. And uh, yeah, so every everything's here. It's, uh, you can definitely get cheaper rent, you know, different places uh, if, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, you can also pay more, but uh, this is actually probably on the higher end for the uh, area here. Uh, but it's uh, again very nice. So okay, so the first thing is a uh, rent. I pay three twenty. My electric bill for the month was sixty dollars, and uh, I run the air conditioner. I'm gonna say sixty percent of the time when I'm in the room, and uh, yeah. So it, you know, I, I'm I'm not trying to save. Uh, uh, much there. If somebody wanted to, I'm sure they could easily cut that down by two thirds uh, because it doesn't really get extremely hot here. Uh, so at least that's been the case so far. So that's about 60. My water bill for the month was $4. It was uh, 200 pesos, a little bit less than $4. So that, that's a great deal. I spend probably about, uh, I spent $90 for coffee. Uh, every morning I usually go down to the local coffee shop here, it's called Bo's, and I uh, get a cappuccino. Sometimes I'll get a cookie also, or you know, or a pastry or something with that. So I, I averaged it out. I'm gonna say it's about. I spend about ninety dollars for that. For most people, I think they probably make their own coffee in their room and don't have that expense. Uh, the other expense that I have is uh, taking taxis. A lot of people that live here uh, full time have a, a motorbike, uh, so they kind of avoid that cost. Uh, but for me, I, I take, uh, I'm gonna say at least one taxi every other day. And it, it costs uh, about $2, Yeah, about 100 pesos uh, to get down to the mall, you know, pretty much wherever I'm going. I'm gonna say it's average, averaging about $2. So I spend about roughly $100 per month on taxis. So not too bad. It, it beats paying, uh, you know, car insurance and gas and all that for sure, especially with the gas prices. And then food. I, uh, I'm gonna say I, I averaged about $10 per day, and that's eating out pretty much uh, most of the time, if not all the time. I'll cook once in a while, but 
it, it's pretty rare. Yeah, you know, because it doesn't cost that much just to buy something that's already cooked and, you know, and it's fresh. And uh, so for me, I, I prefer to eat out. And it, yeah, so I'm gonna say I spend about $10 per day on my food. And then the, um, I added another $100 on here for uh, toiletries, toothpaste, uh, toilet paper, that kind of thing. I just threw in $100 for that. And, um, and then the internet, now I get a 120 gigs of data uh, for 10, excuse me, for $20. So internet, you know, $20 and that's for 120 gigs. Most people don't use anywhere near that much. So, uh, you know, you could cut that down. Uh, you could, a lot of these different costs here, you could cut down uh, the electricity, the coffee, mm, you know, the taxi, you know, so a lot of the stuff you could cut out or, or cut way back. Even the food, if you cooked it yourself, you know, and just cooked in your room or your, your condo, that could be cut back uh, dramatically. So anyway, so my total cost is basically a thousand dollars per month. And, uh, to me, it's, it's good, and, and that includes uh, pretty much everything, you know? So, uh, yeah, I, I think it's good. There's a, you know, I'll show you here. There's a, a pool. Some units. There's the uh, weight room over there. So anyway, the weather here to me is, is pretty perfect. It, it feels like Hawaii, but it's probably 20% uh, of the cost or 10% or of the cost. You know? So uh, yeah, anyway, it's something definitely to consider if you're looking to retire or just need a, a break for a couple months or something. Uh, yeah, those are my costs, right at a thousand. And again, that could be cut down, I don't know, probably by uh, 30% or so, you know? Um, yeah, or, or it could be increased if you uh, eat at the more expensive restaurants, you know, constantly, uh, that, that could jump up. So, but I do eat out uh, every day pretty much and um, yeah, so I spend about $10 a day for food. All right, I hope you found this uh, beneficial, uh, you know, good information for you. At, at least it's, these are uh, realistic numbers. Uh, you know, I'm not saying you can get by on $500 a month, uh, but I would say, uh, yeah, $1,000 a month. Uh, yeah, it's very easy to do and, and you're living comfortably. So, all right. Hey, thank you so much uh, for watching. I am currently in Cebu, Philippines. And again, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.